News on six is getting an exclusive look inside how Tulsa St. Francis Hospital is giving out COVID-19 vaccines. We thank you for staying with us here this afternoon, this Friday afternoon. I'm Brian Dorman. I'm Ashley Isbicki. Employees say they're able to vaccinate hundreds of people a day with little wait time. News on six is Amelia Magavaro is live with the story. Amelia. Well, Brian and Ashley, by the end of the day today, nearly 500 people will have driven through here to receive their COVID-19 vaccines. And St. Francis says this process has worked so well that they've had little to no complaints. This has been kind of smooth. Fast and easy. No complaints from the Murphys after Doris got her second Pfizer shot in minutes. And I've had so many of my friends have went to the expo and had to stand in line and this is been great. Same goes for Eileen Simmons. It's very smooth, very well organized, no waiting. So on average, over 400 people get vaccinated here a day, and so I'm going to drive through and see how long it really takes. The process is simple. You drive up, fill out paperwork, get the vaccine in one of the two locations, then wait for 15 minutes. And from start to finish, it took me a little over 20 minutes total. Everyone has really rolled up their sleeves and, and said, OK, we've got to take this on. Warren Clinic Executive Director Steve Davis says this process was first used for flu vaccines back in November, so his staff has had months to practice. Hi, guys. Hi. Is this is your second shot? And because everything was going so well, they partnered with the Tulsa Health Department to give out COVID vaccines. They started in December vaccinating first responders and frontline workers, but have now expanded to warrant patients 65 and older. Our ultimate goal is if we can push out about a thousand vaccines a day, uh, that, that is really where we need to be. St. Francis opened three other vaccine sites in town and will have three additional sites next week. And St. Francis says they reached a milestone yesterday because for the first time in the pandemic, they had more people receive the vaccine than they had patients who got a COVID test. Live in Tulsa, Nellie McGalvero, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.